While the crisis in the east of Europe grows day by day, Russia is also threatening many European and NATO countries with many moves and attacks in different areas. Russia, which has openly threatened Ukraine on the Ukrainian border for a long time and deployed 90,000 soldiers and hundreds of advanced tanks to this region, is now creating a crisis on the Polish border due to the migrants crossing to Poland via Belarus. According to the latest developments, Russian bombers are punishing the Polish army with heavy raids due to Poland's military activity on the border. Russian bombers with advanced capabilities raided the Polish border to bomb in the attack position. In addition, EU and NATO countries impose sanctions on Russian and Turkish airlines as a result of conflicts between Belarus, Russia and Poland and heavy conflicts in Donbass. President Biden, EU Commission Minister and German Chancellor. Merkel discussed sanctions due to the refugee crisis and possible conflicts. We'll go over all the details shortly. Russia, which openly threatens Europe through Ukraine, first annexed Crimea in the region and then played a leading role in the events in Donbass, Russia, which openly supports anti-Ukrainian groups in the region, has plunged the region into complete chaos. Now, in response to Ukraine's move to take back the lands, it lost to the opposition in the recent period, it has settled on the European border with preparations for a major attack. At the same time Russia, which has a very serious effect on Belarus, is fueling the crisis in the region with the weapons it sends to Belarus. The recent migrant crisis has deeply affected Europe. It is known that many refugees, especially with Iraqi passports, came to Belarus by plane, and they aimed to go to Poland via Belarus and then to Europe. Belarus has pushed the immigrants to the border and is now supporting the refugees with serious support in that region. This move by Belarus put Europe, especially Poland on red alert. Poland made a very serious military shipment to the Belarusian border and protected the area. Even during the day, the president of Poland visited the soldiers in the region and made inspections in the region. Russia, on the other hand, describes this move as a provocation, and for this reason it made raids on Poland, with bombers flying on the Polish border. At the same time, Belarusian President Lukashenko said that the DPR and LPR groups in Ukraine's Donbass region are supplying weapons to refugees. Saying that if this aid continues, Belarus will respond most severely. Lukashenko also seems to be laying the groundwork for the Donbass region where Russia has long wanted a military presence. The Russian air transport company Aeroflot, which caused the arrival of immigrants, faced a great sanction by Europe. A certain explanation is still awaited as to the purpose of the Russian air company, which is reported to be carrying incoming refugees at the same time. Europe discussed these sanctions with President Biden. The possibility of bringing to the table the possibility of imposing sanctions on Russia through Aeroflot has been discussed extensively. Russian bombers taught the Polish army a difficult lesson. Russian bombers raided the deployment area of several thousand Polish soldiers. With <coughs> so this is a book of Isaiah 13 and verse 16. It read, Their children also shall be dashed into pieces before their eyes. Their house shall be spoiled, their wives lavished. Behold, there is tie up the mead against them, and which shall not regard silver. As for gold, they shall not dry it in it. Their boys shall dash the young men to pieces. They shall have no pity on the foot of the womb. Their eyes shall not spare children. And the Babylon, the glory of the kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldean excellence, shall be as and when the Moshe overthrow a Sodom and a, Gor and a Gomorrah. Barakata Yahawa, a Barakata Yahawa Shai, a Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shai, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shai, Bahashem, Nakaha Kadash. And the Wahana to the elder and the apostles of Great Miss Sony who do well. A peace, blessing, salutation to you, I care more pushing this through the four winds of the heaven and be on the forefront of the spiritual war. And to make sure Jerusalem is established as a praise and here on earth again as in the days of old. So, Amen. It is another a news and a prophecy a concerning the algorithm of old. You see, in which you see, we are inching closer and closer to the said war. And which, amen, is a said you we bring about is the end of his Sawidom kingdom. You see, it is just a matter of time, man. In which, when you consider prophecy, prophecy, you see, have what we call the faculty of time. 
That's why we commonly refer to us as a wheelie of prophecy. You see, if we go against the wheelie of prophecy, you will be broken into pieces. Or the wheelies of time. You see, for you to have a prophecy, you need to have a certain amount of time. That's why in the book of Second Ezra, man, you see, the scripture tell you he does not move or stir the time until the fulfillment with the fulfilled measure. You see, roughly paraphrasing. You see? So, I mean, we are inching closer and closer again to the said yo. And which the said yo will be faulty via thermal and nuclear war, cyber warfare, and a biological weapon. You see? And uh, to be more specific, man. Uh, as Isaiah 13, starting at verse 16, it says that children shall be dashed to pieces, man. That's going to, you see, all of you people who will be found on the ground zero. You see, be it children, be it elderly, be it disabled, man. As you people in the world, you see, when you see a disab- disabled person, you start feeling sorry. You see, you don't consider the most shy in that instance. That's the one who pulls that dude in that situation is a Moshiach, man. And any, any time they see you want to bring justice to a disabled person, no? society will at you as you are a villain. You see? So, amen, I if we don't have perverted per- per- judgment, so the Moshiach will bring that in a whole tree called a besom of destruction, man. They say, yo. And in that day, man, you don't want to be found at the ground zero. See, and our deliverance will come via an aerial a point of view. So that's another lesson for another time, man. He said, Behold, there is tie up the mid. That's what you are you are seeing, man. Them Russian are mad, man. And because they mean in NATO, NATO they are always doing military exercise, you see, exercising how to invade Russia every day, man. You see. That's going to that saying when you poke the beer. So they are poking the beer, the beer is responding now, man. You see? And it is all in the will of your Bash and Mirashai because the scripture tells you the most shy rule in the kingdom of men. You see? He put an evil shout to the Russian, man. You see? So Poland, yes, was doing the same because Poland is a puppet of NATO. You see, so the Russian is saying, uh, 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 don't fret, man. They send them bombers, man. You see, and that was a message to say that, to say to NATO, we, we, we can annihilate you, man. You see, so, I mean, by that, man, the, the Western world is over, man. The Western hegemon, man, the weakness of Israel is coming to an end, literally before your eyes, man. You see. If you can be able to con- conceptualize that, if you can be able to conceive that idea, because to a regular nigga in the ghetto, the idea is that the Western civilization is coming to an end, that is a far fetched scenario to him. Why? Because he cannot conceive and digest what's going on on the world stage, on the geopolitical world. So I'm talking about you nigga and nigga in the barber shop, man. You see, you niggas who have been raised with a single mom, man. You see, you are eating yourself the food. You see, processed the food, man. Your, 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 your brain is fucked up. You see, you are just like a, a, a telephone tower. You don't sink, don't do nothing. As the Lord we annihilate you niggas, man. So some a nuclear war. That's what we are leading to you. Let me, let me continue. I will tie up the mid against them which shall not regard silver and has for gold, they shall not write in it. There was a point in time when NATO said we welcome Russia or NATO. They said, no, 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 man. Because that's not in the prophecy. It's <laughs> just not in the prophecy. Verse 18 is a boy, so shall dash the young man to pieces. That's going to the nuclear missile. When they touch ground zero, Everything go kaboom. I like that saying, we have that, they have that saying in, in Nigeria, I think. They shall have no pity on the foot of the womb, 
is the Aisha you know what to say we spare children and the Babylonian so you Americanized the, the glory of the kingdom the beauty of the Chaldean that's what you nigga see Babylon and the beauty of the kingdom of the, of the kingdom the excellence of America oh, she, uh, you are living on them dainty in which that is coming to an end man as per uh, you see the present news man you niggas are starving in America man you see, and that's that just the beginning man See, the Lord have a lot of things prepared for you, man, to deal with, man. So this is the book of Joshua, and to say, we also get our nation, and it brings them down in the valley of Yahweh Shabbat. And I will plead there, which is them there for my people, as for my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered among the nation, and departed upon my land. You see, let me go down here. Uh, verse 9, they say, proclaim easy among the Gentiles, prepare war. That's what is going on. Every chest piece, every pressure point is ready to go. We are just waiting for the go ahead from Yahab Hashem Yashai because he is an orchestrator of the ongoing drama. And when you consider what you see, what you see is the last scene in the Lord's movie. You see, in which is that we are in, you see, what you call the climax of, of existence, in which there we will be able to attain immortality. This is the climax of, of the existence is immortality in which that is coming in a very dramatic fashion, man. See, if you can understand that, man. So the last scene in the Lord's movie, it will end in the most key, <laughs> a dramatic way in which you will have what you call intergalactic wars. One limb and another limb fighting, fighting against each other. And which is that will bring about as a climax of existence. And the climax of existence is Esau Edom be put into subjection. In which Esau Edom he symbolizes death. That's where you get the equation of immortality. The equation of immortality is what you call the, the, the climax of existence. See? Every creature, I mean, I'm talking about the elect here, I'm not talking about dummy, a dummy, a dumb dog. You see, every creature means the elect is waiting to live forever, man. In righteousness. So I prepare, oh, wake up the mighty man, let your men of war draw near. Let them come up, beat your portion to sow and your pruning hook into spear. Let the weak say I'm strong. So go into this small country, man. You see, just stop piling the arsenal, man. You see? They are making what you call centrifuges to be able to produce more noob. They are getting what you call supersonic technology. They are perfecting the use of what you call cram jet engine. So in which, in order for you to send a, a, personic, missile, a personic missile, you need a cram jet engine. And as a first nation to, to perfect a cram jet engine, I think it is China and Russia. Then they gave it to North Korea, they will give it to, 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 to Ilani. That's what the weak are, are saying, I am strong. Verse 11, assemble yourself and come all his and gather yourself together and about to hither. That's a decree, man. That's a king's decree. See, the king's decree, it is above everything. You see? He say he is a cause, a mighty one, to come down, your Lord. And this, this is not a free will. Well, Russia will choose, let's say Russia will examine the situation and say if we go to a nuclear war with America, eh, eh, that will be the end of our kingdom. So, so let us eh, see, tolerate the America bullying us so that we can save humanity. No, man. La. Which is, that is in Hebrew. No, la. See? Uh, do, do, do you read the Joel C and 11 like the Lord was uh, talking, like he's talking to his woman, in which his woman is a nation of Israel, don't get offended. You say, assemble yourself and come all you hither. That's a decree, man. And the gather yourself together on the about hither, cause the mighty one to come down, O Lord, the Shai. Let the hither be wakened and come up to the vow of your party. The vow of judgment, for there we are seek to judge all the heathen around about me.
see the climax of the ongoing session and now the spirit of the lord is making inquisition all over the world that's why you are seeing judgment is going forth we are living in the time of judgment and the judgment will be or we say judgment will be she multiplied and multiplied and multiplied man you see every time every time judgment will be going forth man until it will reach a point you people will be numb to judgment and that's where things like cannibalism will ensue see the natural instinct of a man man the animalistic natural instinct of a man will come in a major way man see a person won't even think twice to put you to death see that's going to the book of Ezra's evil evil shall increase evil evil shall go not increase go see and when you go to that to that translate to go let let us go say second Ezra 16 You see, I'll start at verse 19. He said, Behold, fame and a proud tribulation and anguish shall send as scourges for amendment, but all these things they shall not turn from their weakness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. You see, behold, the victual shall be so good cheap upon the earth that they shall sink themselves to be in a good case, and even then shall evil. That is a plural. Evils grow upon the earth. When you consider a tree, when a tree is growing, it don't just grow after three days and you have a, a, whole, a, whole, a whole tall tree. No, man. A tree is your plant. They grow small. They grow slowly. You have certain plant when you, let's say over here in Africa, let's say an avocado. You, over there in America, everything is, is GMO. When you you get this 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 GMO avocados, they take only six months to grow and start to bring forth fruit. But a little avocado, a little avocado, man, your grandfather can plant it and he won't eat a fruit of it. His grandchildren will eat. So it is a sad generation. To be able for you to get an avocado from the avocado tree, you need to wait for three generations. That's how that's how plant grows slowly. When you plant an avocado, even you forget, you forget about it. That's what is going on here on the planet. Yes, man. Evil is growing very slowly. And when you see brothers are doing wrestling, like the judgment which happened in the astral world about Travis Holt, Travis who I don't even know him, man. There's no reason to know him. He just yet too said. He like was too said. So a couple of people got put to death and you you have you will have people saying hey, that's normal people to die see 10 to 15 people to die that's normal but you don't understand is evil is growing when a tree is growing a little tree I'm not talking about the GMO trees if you planted it you, you, you even forget because it it take a, a three to four generation see certain tree you even forget you have planted a tree man That's what is going on here in here on the planet. Yes, evil is growing slowly. But when is a tree grow and let's say it is a second generation, the third generation, you can't ignore that tree anymore. You will not see there is a tree. But when that tree was growing, you can't even know there is a tree. But when is that tree grow and become tall, you can't ignore that there is a tree. That's what the scripture is going to evil. Evil shall evil grow upon the earth, so the famine and great confusion. So it will come a point where people they will be like, wait a minute, what is going on? That's when reality will set in. You see, there is a cry for wine. The elder brother, I think his name is Kanawathi or what? Kanawathi. From the Eroi camp, I think Eroi or San Francisco. The brother he went to education. He, he went into he went into that's the brother. He went into a lesson about there is a cry for why in the in the street. And, uh, <laughs> that's where really when evil grow and uh, you will see that prophecy. That prophecy will hit home, man. So this is this I say, Shalom. I hope brothers were edified. On to the next.